guys, welcome back. This is By The Book and we are your married relationship coaches. Kind of talking to you today about Married at First Sight, season 15, episode seven, but this is a sidebar, okay? So we've taken one minute point with the couple, Lindy and Miguel, and we've decided to blow it up into its own little episode. Hopefully not too long though. Yeah. So we're talking about love and how it develops, I guess. I think my husband and I kind of have differing opinions or yeah. perspectives on what love is within a relationship, within a, a romantic relationship, yeah. how it develops. And um, that kind of spins us into that conversation every time we're watching Lindy and Miguel mm -hmm. because they have differing viewpoints about what love is, I guess, or if not what it is, the way it develops, whether you choose it or whether it chooses you mm. <laughs> in terms of, of what kinds of feelings that you have. Okay. So... I'll let my husband get started on his viewpoint about okay. love and how it develops, and then and then we'll we'll discuss. Okay. Well, I'm a little bit more uh, on the side of Lindy when she says that love is a choice, mm -hmm. um, and 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 of course Miguel is talking about love is a feeling, mm -hmm. and so I think feelings are very uh, are fleeting. Uh, you can feel a certain way one day, and you can feel differently mm -hmm. another way, a different day, and so when you're talking about a marriage. And you're talking about a lifelong commitment is all about choice. And so you're choosing to love a person every single day. You're choosing them. You're loving them uh, every single day. And it, it, no matter how you feel, you're, just, you're, choosing, you're, choosing, you're choosing to love them. And so I think it's more of a choice, more in agreement with uh, Lindy. And so I want to see how my wife kind of settles on this equation, on this side of the, uh, 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 of the argument. Um, what yeah. side are you? Are you on the feeling side or are you on the choice side? I think mean, oddly enough, because I am a self-proclaimed uh, low emotion kind of person. Why didn't you tell me? Yeah, you <laughs> had no idea. Um, and so it's odd for me to say this, but I truly lean on the side of feelings. I feel mm. like the commitment to a relationship is a choice for sure. But I feel like to get to that, you need to have these warm and fuzzies at some point. You need to, to have a romantic kind of in love type of feeling. Mm -hmm. You got to feel something kind of special. It doesn't come from logic necessarily where you say, you know what? These are the boxes I need to check. And I check these boxes of his and he checks these boxes of mine. And so let's be in love. That's just not how it works. You know, because there's an intangible there. There's something that, as Miguel said, that je ne sais quoi, that <laughs> exists, I think, when people get those mushy feelings. Yeah. And those are, are necessary, in my opinion, to get that fall in love type okay. of feeling. All right. So love and fall in love. Uh, why is there a difference? Or is there a difference? There is a difference. There is a difference. You love plenty of things. Like... I love sports. I love, I love, I kind of, I guess I love our dog, but I, <laughs> you know, in a, in a dog kind of way, you know, but so you love a lot of things. I'm yeah. just saying, but you're not in love with a lot of things. Okay. In love, it, to me, it, it necessitates a certain type of like, Je ne sais quoi. I mean, okay. it just does. There's, there's just a feeling that's involved with it. And I don't mean that to say that's all there is. Right? Okay. It takes something joined. Like, you get those feelings. You say, you know what? I am really just totally head over heels, enamored with this person. I'm in love with them. Mm -hmm. And then you make a choice to stay committed to them. So you don't think that there's a choice already to love them because i think whether we're aware of it or not we make a choice whether if it's conscious or subconscious to fall in love no i think that you can choose to not love somebody right mm -hmm. like i think you can say i'm not going to give them a chance like mm -mm, absolutely not this person is not my type they're not attractive enough they don't make enough money to blah, blah blah so you put this wall up and you're not even interested i don't think that love comes and grabs you like <laughs> and says, 
Yeah. Oh, you thought you weren't going to love this? Like, there's no Cupid that's shooting you with arrows when you can't help it. I think you can deflect yeah. and refuse to give to open yourself up to love someone. Okay. But I think that if you're open to it yeah. and you give the person an opportunity, mm-hmm. you get to know them, you date them, you know, you, you learn intimate things about them and you share intimate things about yourself, you're opening yourself up. Choice. You're opening yourself up to the possibility. Yeah. But the twinkles have to come down still on you. Uh And they might not. Like, you just may never... Have you guys... Let us know. Let me know. Because, I mean, I don't think this is something my husband is really feeling me on. No. But... (laughs) I'm not. Have you ever (laughs) known somebody, met somebody, or dated somebody, and you're like, ah, you know what? This is a really nice person. But I'm just not feeling connected. Like, you can't get over some hump, some imaginary invisible hump... I can't say what it is, but you don't get those feelings. And so it never turns into that in love feeling. It's just okay. like, mm, you know. Yeah. I don't know. I, me being younger, I would have said what you said. You know, I would have said it's all about feeling. Uh, it's, it's all about the fuzzies, as you said. It's all about all those different type of things. But now I feel it's more of a choice. Uh, I feel that it's a, it's a choice to open yourself up to love a person, whether if it's when you first meet them and you make a choice to give that person your phone number or 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 or, or to get or to take that number and it's a choice to begin to open up the communication. It's a choice again to start to get to know them and 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 like, oh I like what I hear and I like this and I like that, you know? And it's mm-hmm. a choice to go out on a date with a person. It's a choice to open up yourself to their life and it's a choice to let you open up uh, for you to open up yourself so they can get a glimpse of your life it's, it's just choice, it's choice I, and choice, I choice, agree choice. with every single one of those choices so I'm right but none of those choices I'm equals right. love yeah but right they, no, no 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 you can do each and every one of those things systematically yeah and still not land on I'm in love with this person you could that's the point. Because, because at the end of that race. She won't let me win. She know I won. At but the, go ahead. <laughs> at the end of that race of the opening up and getting to know and going on dates and all of these things that you just said you choose. Yes. If the end result is not a guaranteed I'm in love with you. Yes. Then it's not all about a choice anymore. Okay. That means that something intangible has to happen at the end of that race uh-huh. that makes you fall in love with that person. And you know what that intangible is? It's some feelings. It's some feelings. Nope. I was. <laughs> she lost. <laughs> there's there's, there's got to be some feelings. There's got to be certain types of warm and fuzzies. And I don't know if this feelings is come from the choice. a man thing or a woman thing. But you can't choose to feel things. Yes, you can. I don't know about that. I don't think so. I don't think you choose feelings. Feelings are one of those things that just kind of happens. If, people, people can't make you feel anything. You can't make no, yourself feel anything. No, can't make you. Okay. But, but you have it. You can't choose it. But if you open yourself up, then you choose to, to, to feel it. You choose no, to let I yourself see, feel I it. I feel like he's talking about this like a man, y'all. Let me know what you think. But I, I think he's missing... The, the feeling thing. And I think this is one of the reasons that women get upset with men because... <laughs> and this is... I'm not, I'm not a girly girl, okay? Like, you're not going to get a whole lot of talks from me about feelings and uh-huh. emotions and, and all of this stuff. Yeah. But in this particular instance, yeah. I feel like we're very um, gender... Uh, we're stuck in we're stuck in gender roles. Like I'm very uh, woman here. You're yeah. you're very guy here. So so but, me, so Miguel is the is the woman in in that the maybe woman? maybe. All right then. Um, I'm okay with that. I mean, yeah, it, right it doesn't too. have just to be. Just don't make me the woman in the situation. Gender specific. In, <laughs> <laughs> in every in, in every instance, but I yeah. think that we have issues with men with that because mm-hmm. to me, if my husband is saying. He just saw me, you know, was like, hey, you know, she ain't too bad looking. Fine. I'm going to love her. You know? No. No, right I'm going to be upset with that because, right, like, then I could have been any attractive woman to him. Like, no. anybody that he walked down the street and saw and said, oh, she ain't bad, he could have been like, yep, that's going to be the one I love. No. It doesn't work like that. 
Feelings have to come. Feelings come with time. Feelings come because you're open and you're available and you're vulnerable or whatever. And you've allowed yourself an opportunity to get those feelings. It doesn't mean those feelings will guarantee to come, uh-huh. but you're you're open to it. And that's what you're talking about, the openness. Yeah, you made That's the choices. choices that you're talking about is the yeah. openness. Mm-hmm. But you're open. And what if the feelings don't fall into your cup? Then you don't fall in love. They will. Because you made a choice. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you have it. I, well, I don't I mean, feel all that special after this conversation. <laughs> you I don't. I just feel emotional. like I was at the right time, at the at the right place at the right time. Oh, no. That's, that's what it sounds like. No. No, but tell me, tell me what you guys think if I'm like overanalyzing this situation. Uh-huh. I honestly feel like you're being very analytical in this and I'm the one who's 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 having feelings about it yeah. because I feel like I want to be the only one that he could have possibly fallen in love you were. with. were. But that doesn't make sense because he's saying if he had chosen someone else to take this path but I of openness have, I with, wouldn't have chosen it. Why? You didn't know me from anyone. Because you allowed me to know you and I was making the choice to this ain't even love right. you because I got a chance to know you. <laughs> he's going to pay for this. <laughs> <laughs> See, even when I win, I lose. She know I won this conversation, but I'm going to lose another one. Mm, mm, mm. I won. Let us know in the comments, please, whose side you're on. And if you think that love is entirely a choice. Yeah. Or if you think that love is entirely feelings. Or if you're like me and you feel like it's a combination of both. <laughs> That's all I need to know. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Also, let her know that I won. And we'll talk to you. <laughs>